Hit the subscribe button on this channel and click the bell icon to get instant updates from Chess Talk. Hello chess friends and welcome to Chess Talk. Today I'm going to share with you a secret chess opening trick to trap and mate your opponent in 7 moves only. This trick can be played by black against the famous Italian opening. In this video I'm going to show you the exact strategy and moves to fool your opponent and win the game as fast as possible. I am also going to show you the solution to the puzzle I had asked in my previous video along with your comments and correct answers. Plus there is another interesting puzzle for you all. Let's see if you can solve that. So stay tuned till the end and while watching this video if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comments section below. I will be happy to answer and help you out. I am Jitendra Advani. You are watching Chess Talk. Let's get started. The trick I am going to show you now is popularly called the Blackburn Shilling Gambit. This is the Italian game so we start with the king's pawn opening, white plays pawn e4, then black plays pawn e5, then knight f3, knight c6 and bishop c4. This is the initial setup of the Italian game. This is a very common opening that you will see in most games. You are playing as black and it's your turn. Let's throw a surprise now. You will play knight to d4. This looks like a crazy move. I say this because of two reasons. Firstly, you are violating one of the most important opening principles by moving your piece twice in the beginning and secondly, you have left your e5 pawn unprotected. I am sure white will be licking his lips after seeing this blunder made by you. If your opponent has not seen this trap before and he tries to be greedy, he will take no time and capture your pawn with his knight. Great, that's just what you wanted. Your opponent just got trapped. Now it's time to unleash your next surprise. You bring out your queen to g5, double attacking this knight and the pawn on g2. This seems like another blunder because white can easily save his knight by capturing the f7 pawn to double attack the queen and rook. If he plays this move then he is gone. You will now capture the pawn and play queen to g2. White now has only one good move here. He has to prevent his rook from being captured by playing it to f1. Now it's time to finish off things. Black plays queen e4 check, the king can't move and if he blocks with his queen then it will be captured by your knight. So the only move left for white is to block with his bishop. And now comes the killer move. Can you spot it? Yes, black plays knight to f3 and says thank you very much because that's a beautiful checkmate. Amazing, isn't it? Now let me just go back and show you another common variation that you might see. Let's say in this position white instead of saving his rook captures your rook with his knight. Then from here you can take the rook with your queen and give check. The king can't move so the only move white can play is to block with his bishop. Now your queen captures the pawn on e4 and gives check. White cannot block with his queen because of your knight so again he will have to block with his bishop. Now knight f3 won't be checkmate because he can move his king. So instead you bring out your bishop to c5. Now no matter what move white plays, you can easily checkmate in the next 3 moves. Say for example white plays pawn to d3, then you will play knight f3 check. White has only one move that is king f1. Now you will play the killer move queen h4. I call this killer because you are threatening mate in two ways. Firstly queen to f2 is checkmate and secondly queen to h3 is also checkmate. White can try playing king to g2. But then after queen f2, if white plays king h1, then queen h2 is mate and if he plays king h3, then pawn d6 makes it checkmate by the bishop. That's awesome, right? So that's how this gambit works. Now the most important question, how do you save yourself from this trap? Well, the best way to counter this is to play the correct move here, right in this position. When black plays knight to d4, I would suggest white should castle. This makes it a real good position for white because his king is now safe, his piece development is better and plus he has better control of the center. So that's how white should play. So that was all about this opening trick, the Blackburn shilling gambit. Now quickly let me just show you the solution to my last video's puzzle. I had asked you to find the best move for black in this position. Well the best move is rook to h1. Many of you got it right. Correct answers with perfect explanations are on screen. I will be posting your names on my Facebook page as well. Do check it out and like our page for more such chess puzzles. So coming back to the game now. After this white will have to capture the rook. 
then black can promote to a queen and give check and after a few more checks black can fork the rook and king and capture the rook to gain a match winning advantage okay so now it's time for today's chess puzzle as you can see in this end game white is looking to promote his pawn and black is also looking to do the same the black pawn has no obstructions whereas the white pawn can be easily captured by this bishop this looks like an easy win for black but white can draw this game if he plays correctly it is white's turn now there is a beautiful sequence of moves that white can play to draw this game can you find the best move here let's see if you can comment with your answers i want to see how many of you get it right don't forget to like this video if you find it useful hit the subscribe button to watch more such chess videos if you have any questions or video suggestions post them in the comment section below for some interesting chess tips tricks and puzzles you can like my facebook page links are in the description box below thanks for watching 